Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Hold on, it's doing the last. Better. Last time, we had inserted Toxin A into two out of the four environmental regulators. If we put it into the other two, it should clear the elevator shaft, allowing us to reach Deck 4. So let's get started. I hear eggs and I hear a camera. I should have searched the egg. My mistake. Turns out the egg was empty. That lets me destroy the camera. I'll take the grub pod organ. Let's check out the other egg. An analid healing gland. Beautiful. And it was a toxin egg. So we'll destroy it. Now we'll search these bodies. Well, next to this gal, there's a mug. This corpse has a vial of Toxin A, which I don't actually need, but I'll pick up to recycle. This guy has 19 nanites, a swift boost implant, and cigarettes. Here's another charging station. The Replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. I can't hack it, but it sells a mug for 8 nanites, antitoxin hypo for 70, psi hypo for 150, and portable battery for 170. Over here, the trash can's empty, but I couldn't help but notice sitting up there are three cyber modules. That brings my total to 25. Not qu really, not quite enough to upgrade my psi off by a single module. Here's an audio log. Polito, July 4th, 2114. Regarding AI voice fragment. Marie, this is urgent. It seems the AI from Tau City has integrated itself into the ship's computer. I picked up this fragment today. Insolent. Insolent. Not only that, but after I found the fragment, I returned to my lab to find it ransacked. I must see you. You're the only one I trust now. I have a theory about this AI. I tried to find information about the various rumors regarding the events on Citadel Station. I think I'm on... Interesting. Down here we've got a security crate, which of course I can't hack. Box of six rifled slugs and a speed booster. Let's check this room out. Why not? Corpse with 19 nanites. Spare wrench. Corpse with nothing. Empty crate. Empty crate. Empty crate. Grub wants a piece. Empty crate. Antitoxin hypo. But in there, three cyber modules. That's what you want to see. Back here, a security crate, which I can't hack, of course. And here... In that crate, there's a hazard suit. I knew I heard a hybrid. Join up! Down you go. And I need to offload my junk. But I also have enough modules to upgrade Psy to 4, which is what I'm going to do now. 
All right. The only stat I still want to upgrade is Psy. That costs 53 modules. So does unlocking tier 3 neural capacity. So, regardless of which one I choose to do first, my next upgrade will come at 53 cyber modules. on me because I have so many things I do need to hold on to. Yep, 53 to unlock third tier neural capacity. Let's head back through the bulkhead now. Check this room first. Oh, I hate robots. Didn't even have to finish him with Psy. How glorious. All right, let's try and bum rush the camera. That worked. There's another one down that other hallway. So we'll deal with it. course there's also another maintenance spot so perhaps we'd better deal with that first let's pick up those 17 nanites and check out the other hallway Fantastic. That one didn't drop anything either. Let's bum rush the second camera. Now we can search these cultivation cells. There's a box of 12 standard bullets. Here is an assault rifle in very good condition. The corpse has a hydroponics D access card, 15 nanites, 12 armor piercing bullets, 
and version 2 hacking software. Let's query the assault rifle since we haven't seen it yet. The assault rifle requires a strength of 2 and a standard weapon skill of 6 in order to use. Uses the same ammunition as a pistol, but has a bigger clip and does 25% more damage. Both modifications to the assault rifle increase the damage. The first mod reduces reload time, and the second mod increases the clip size. Well loved by grunts everywhere, the M22 assault rifle is a good entry into the world of automatic rifles. Rapid fire keeps vulnerable enemies down, and the single shot mode is good for accuracy. Armor penetration and damage potential are both moderate. When used for heavy automatic fire, the aim point tends to wander fairly far. The design by committee nature of the unit, however, has led to some questions regarding its reliability. When the rail launcher rounds were spent, when the auto mines were bypassed, when the neuron acceleration field was neutralized, the men still had their M22s and their gunpowder, and by God they used them to good effect. Captain Edward Diego commenting on the defense of Boston Harbor. All right, let's search this hallway. We have a potted plant and a broken pistol. Three standard bullets. The corpse has three incendiary grenades, which I don't think we've seen before. So we'll query those. This grenade releases a quick dispersing white phosphorus. WP can cause cyanosis, intestinal pain, and perhaps coma or death. It generally only affects organic targets. The trash can has nothing. This corpse has 12 more standard bullets and 13 nanites. And there's a pistol on the ground, which I'll have to go offload before I can pick it up. Sign. Both of these windows are unbreakable. If I search this other hallway... I find a med hypo. And that appears to be it. So let's go offload my junk. The many sings to us. Gosh, it'll be a relief to finally get the recycler. Tell you what. Alright, now we can pick up that pistol. Unload the ammo out of it. Let me make extra double sure I didn't miss anything in here. Looking good so far. All right, let's move forward. Psy hypo and a psy amp. Only one way forward. <coughs> Why do you go so slowly? Do you think this is some kind of game? It is only through luck and my continued forbearance that you are even alive. Now move. 
Interesting. Email Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding dawdling. Alright, well, if we take his, uh, shotgun, it's already time to offload junk again. So I guess it's time to offload more junk. Onward we go. Okay. Let's search the room I'm in first. Don't see anything. Oh, let's hang a left. We got some eggs. Nothing inside that one. It's a toxin egg that we managed to avoid pretty well. What about this one? Nothing inside. Hatched a grub. And there's the organ. All right, let's search the room now. Nothing. 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 Rifled slugs on the floor. Those are handy. And... Nothing. Alright, let's go to the other side. Do the same thing. Nothing inside that one. Just another grub. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Let's deal with the second egg. It was toxins. Nothing inside, though. In fact, nothing in this room at all. Well, let's keep moving, then. Another robot. Ain't life grand. Come at me, bro. how he missed at that range. But I sure am glad he did. Alright, just one more whack. Then it's cryo time. Got him. All right, he dropped 20 nanites. That's pretty handy. Let's search. Well, there was a toxic egg. 
nothing inside. Power drained. Nothing inside. Just a grub in the pod organ. Damn. A little more wary of this one now. There's a healing gland inside. That much is awesome. This one doesn't want to let me get close. Let's see if my new point inside lets me one-shot them. It does! Glorious. Anyway, on the ground in here, three more cyber modules. Totals up to five. Let's search the other side. Nothing inside. Toxic egg, but I think we can trigger it through the wall. And I was right. What about this one? Nothing inside. Hatched a grub. So we'll take the pod organ for later recycling. Now let's check out this room. Nothing, 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 nothing. On the ground, a rad hypo. Now let's make sure there's nothing in these side bits of water. Well, we can hear her. I hear a camera too. gonna try and get her to come closer. Come closer, hon. Dance with my wrench! Alright, that's not it. Got a grub there. Crap. And a maintenance bot. Now the maintenance bot could become a real problem if I can't outsmart it. Many maintenance bots. Dang it. Alright. Should, should probably uh, only try for one whack.
pretty sure it's one whack away. Yep. So now we'll cryoblast it. Alright, he didn't drop anything. Now let's destroy this camera. Grub pod organ. No goodies inside that one. It's a toxic egg, so I'll just destroy it. No goodies. Oh, come on. out over here. No goodies. It's toxic. What about back here? I don't see anything outside the water, so let's check inside it. I don't see anything insi useful inside the water either. Kind of surprises me, but so it goes. Here's our third environmental regulator. Let's slot in some toxin A. Receive 14 cyber modules for our trouble, which is pretty awesome. And now we've got we also picked, while we were in here, picked up a key card to Hydroponics D. That's the one s sector we hadn't gotten into yet, so. Make sure to get on that now. Again. We seek. We Got one. Got the other. Pipe hybrid has five nanites. Shotgun hybrid just has as usual. It feels good to be on our way out. That's for sure. There's another shotgun hybrid. Let's just ignore those two. Since we can get around them. Nowhere near 53 modules. So we'll just head through here instead. Back to the main elevator for an inventory dump. Now, hydroponics D was somewhere this direction. I can't quite remember where. But it shouldn't be hard to find. Alright, pipe dude. Yeah, there's Hydro D. Let's head in. 
What do you know? It's another new map, which, of course, calls for another new video, so... We'll boot into there, and... That'll be that. <clears throat> new save for Hydroponics D. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We've now placed the toxin into three of the four regulators. Here we are, hunting for the last one. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.